Well, hello there, my fellow nerd knights. Welcome to episode two of our Madara painting series, where we're going to be painting the cave sickles, um, which are minions in the Madara game. And we're going to be doing this very, very quickly. These are nothing to them. Very easy. I'm going to show you some shortcuts on how to make these look fantastic. Uh, but this, if this is your first time at the channel, or if you've been watching this series, or watching another series and you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment. I want to know what you want to see painted next. I'll make that video. The more requests I get, the more I will do on that. But without further ado, let's go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to scrape all those mold lines off our miniatures. If you need any paints, uh, there's a description in below of what I use, what I am, all the colors I'm using for this, so check that below. Next, I'm going to use some sticky tack to put it on an old piece of cardboard, and I'm going to prime them off channel, or off video, I should say. And I'm going to use gray all around it, and then I'm gonna do a spray of white from above. Once those are completely dry, I'm gonna take them off our cardboard and I'm gonna place them in our nice little Citadel miniature holders. We're then gonna do a dry brush of Morgast bone. You're gonna go over all of them with this Morgast bone. This is gonna give a nice highlight because we're gonna use some skeleton hoard coming up after we get this done. So you're just going to go over the entire miniature and make sure you are getting all of the areas. We're going to focus on the top portion of our miniature, the sides, and places where the light would hit. This is just going to obviously give us some more depth to our miniature for the contrast paint. We're then going to take some Skeleton Horde, which is a contrast paint from Citadel. Fantastic, fantastic contrast paint. We're going to cover that entire miniature. If you get some on the eyes, uh, well, they're not even painted yet. So if you get it anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Get it all over. And as you're going around, you can see the gray kind of stick out once this starts to dry. Once it is completely dry, we're gonna do another dry brush of more gas bone all over our miniature. And you wanna do this very lightly. Don't try and jam that dry brush down on that miniature. Just do a nice light dry brush. And this is gonna give us our highlight we're gonna look for on our miniature with the original dry brush we did. For the base color of our eyes, I'm going to be doing Uriel Yellow, and we're going to be making just basic little slits. I'm using a size 1 brush to do this, and just very carefully going and making that little slit. You want to make this a little bit bigger because in the next two steps we're going to make it kind of smaller inside of those base color slits. The second color we're going to be using is a little flash gets yellow and you don't want to cover the entire base color of your real yellow. You want to do about 75% of what you painted, but same thing, just a little slit of yellow. And to final highlight our eye, we're going to put just a little dab of Dorn Yellow, and that's just a white yellow. If you don't have this color, just mix a little bit of white in with your Flash Gets Yellow, and it'll make it that nice pale yellow-white color. For our tongue, we're going to use Volupis Pink. If you don't have this, just use whatever dark pink you do have. For our teeth, we're going to use some Ushabdi bone, and 
If you do this color and you want to spruce them up just a little bit more after you put on the Ushavdi bone, you can put a little bit of white on the tips of the teeth. I decided not to and just do the basic Ushavdi bone on this. To highlight our tongue and mouth area, we're going to use a little pink horror. And we're not going to do the whole thing, just pick out little pieces here and there and give it that nice little bright pink highlight. For the base, we're going to cover all of them in earth texture from Vallejo. Use whatever kind that you have, it doesn't need to be specifically this one. Just whatever earth texture you have, they're cave sickles, I live in caves, it should be earthy type thing. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Uh, and while you're letting that dry, because you're going to need to let it dry completely, head over to our Instagram at nerd.nights and subscribe over there to see what we got going on. We're always posting new stuff. Once your dirt is completely dry, use a little Terminata stone and do a nice light dry brush on that. Just to give it some contrast. Um, try not to get any on our legs of our cave sickle, but if you do, it's not a big deal. But the lighter you go, the harder it is to get on the leg. And for the rim of our base, we're going to use a little Talaran sand, give it that nice little sandy look. It almost looks like they're like the arachnids from Starship Troopers. If you know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment below. Uh, and that's it. That's, that's all we're doing. Really quick, really easy, but it gets it on the table and it looks great for just the table. This ain't going to win you any awards. We're not going for that. We're just going for a great tabletop standard. And we achieve that with minimal effort. I want to say thank you for watching. If you are not a subscriber, please think about subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to have a ton more videos coming up. I'm going to try and do more of these quick little videos just to get you in and out. And as my phone goes off, but whatever. All right. I'll see you on episode three and other episodes we got going on. Paint on.